What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new edition of My Damn Thoughts, where we're going to be breaking down WWE Elite Series 106. And if you guys don't know what My Damn Thoughts is, basically, it is taking a WWE Elite wave or an AEW Unrivaled wave or just anything I want to talk about here on the channel and breaking it down pretty much and giving you My Damn Thoughts on what that is exactly. So that's what we have today, man. We're going to be ranking WWE Elite Series 106 as a set. We're going to be breaking down some different categories and we're going to just be discussing the entire thing pretty much. And just taking a deep dive and detailed look into the entire series as a whole and set. So let's go ahead and get started, man. We usually start things off with pretty much my first thoughts on the set. Now, my first thoughts on this set was solid. I don't think it was anything earth-shattering when I first saw it, but I was definitely excited for the set. I thought it was a solid set of a Raw, and that's kind of what you want, right? I mean, I didn't look at the set and go, ugh, I don't know about this wave or, you know, different things like that. So that is always a good sign when you're getting into an Elite set. Overall, thoughts on the entire set when I was reviewing them, I thought it was a fun set. I I thought, you know, I had fun with each review. I thought that each one had its own cool things about it. Of course, we're going to rank this set at the end to find out which are the best and which which cases are. So we'll dive into all that, man. But let's dive into who I think the shelf warmer of this set is going to be. I feel like this one was kind of an easier one to pick out the shelf warmer. And it has nothing to do really with the figure itself mainly. Because I think the figure that it is is actually a good figure. But it's going to be Roxanne Perez. I think her figure, I mean, mostly anybody that collects these figures knows that usually the women's figures are the ones that are generally left on the pegs and we've discussed this multiple times on the channel it's really all about little jimmy going down the aisle the people that collect this line mainly collect the male figures it's just the way that that is that's just the that's just the facts of the matter and not that this roxanne perez figure is not good because it's actually a pretty good representation of roxanne perez which you know I, if you want my full in-depth detail look at this figure and you want all of my details and what my thoughts are on this figure you can check out the review but not only is it a women's figure but it's also an nxt talent which isn't as popular as a main roster superstar. So, women's figures can absolutely outsell men's figures. We've seen it before in the past. Uh, there's been women's figures that were the best figure in the set and the hottest figures in the set, but in terms of this set, I think Roxanne Perez's figure will probably be the biggest shelf warmer out of all of these. Sami Zayn coming out of a massive storyline and one of the more popular superstars on the roster. We haven't had a Chad Gable in a really long time. You could argue the, the Usos are two of the most popular superstars on the planet right now. Paul Bearer is a throwback Paul Bearer. Throwback collectors are going to eat that figure up. And we have a have one in a long time. So that's, I mean, that, that that pretty much settles that debate right there. Next up, we have the hottest figure in the set. And for me personally, I went with the Paul Bearer figure. All of the reasons I just listed is why this figure is going to be the hottest figure in the set. We have not had a Paul Bearer figure in a minute. It's been since the Hall of Champions line. Before that, we had a Build-A-Figure. And I think that it's easily going to be Paul Bearer just because we've had kind of some Jimmy and Jay's release. We've seen Sami Zayn. Not like too, too long ago, right? But Flashback Collectors, he's the only Flashback figure in the entire set, which is going to capture that market. It's a brand new body mold that accurately depicts a, an era of Paul Bearer, and it's just a fantastic figure overall. And it comes with two urns. I mean, there's so many good things about the Paul Bearer. I think people are going to eat the Paul Bearer figure up. I don't think that's really even a debate right there. I think he's going to be the hottest figure in the set. I mean, you might could argue some others, but I'm just giving my personal thoughts on the matter. And that takes us into the Chase figure, which is also Paul Bearer. So for Paul Bearer, he is the Chase. Now, the Chase figure is actually in a navy dark blue suit. He's got a different tie pattern, and his skin tone is more of a natural skin tone instead of the more pale skin tone. So they did a lot of cool things and changes to the Chase figure. I think it's a solid figure. I actually don't own it just yet, so I definitely will be trying to track that down. I'm behind on the Chase figures. By God, they're just... I try to make it this challenge where I try to find them at retail, but I, I just fail miserably. But I think that the Chase figure is pretty cool. I think that they could have made it Chad Gable. They could have made it Sami Zayn. And maybe Sami Zayn would have been the way to go, but then it would have just been the tape over the Uso, so you could have done that. Maybe change the shirt. I don't know. I'm just throwing out spit ball ideas, but Paul Bearer is the chase. Getting into our best head sculpt in the set, there's a lot of good head sculpts in this set, but at the end of the day, I think this Sami Zayn is quote-unquote an elite head sculpt. I mean, the likeness is uncanny. I think that Jey Uso, we've seen that head sculpt before, and I don't like to make repeat head sculpts. It's usually first-time-in-the-line head sculpts that get the best head sculpt honor in the My Damn Thoughts episode. I think Paul Bearer has a good head sculpt, but it does, I, I feel like there's something off a, a, just a tad about it, even though I think it's a really good one. Roxanne Perez, I think that they missed the mark on her. Chad Gable's a really good head sculpt. Jay and Jimmy have good head sculpts. And Jimmy is a new head sculpt as well, and it's pretty solid. But I think the Sami Zayn, I mean, that looks just like Sami Zayn to me. Like, that is legitimately a shrunk down version of Sami Zayn. So I think easily Sami Zayn had the best head sculpt in Elite Series 106. Now we're getting into the best articulation. For me, this one was Chad Gable. I think that Chad Gable just has a lot of great things going on about it, man. I think that the, the torso's good, the double jointed arms are 
good. I can't quite figure out if these are ball joints. I want to say they are, but I don't know. They're a little bit stiff, but I'd say that you could probably get him in the best poses out of everybody in this set without wanting to like, you know, like break your spirit. But I went, I went with Chad Gable. I think Chad Gable is going to be the best articulation in this set overall. Very fun figure to pose around. He doesn't give me headaches posing around, but I do have to give an honorable mention, man. This Paul Bearer right here, it was a very hard debate between these two, but because of the largest, the largeness of the Paul Bearer, I think it'll be easier to pose around the Chad Gable when you try to get in different move sets and stuff like that, but it's still a ton of fun. This figure feels possibly the best in hand, and that is a different thing. So best articulation and feel in hand is two different categories, but this Paul Bearer, man, he is a, he is just a beast. I have just had so much fun posing this guy around. Like, just feels really, really good in the hand. I like the double jointed arms, the double jointed knees. He has pinless joints, but he's not stiff like usual pinless joints are. So I think that Paul Bearer really does steal a show in a set. He's a fun figure, man. This Paul Bearer is, is great. He feels so good in the hand, and so I had to give a tip to the cap to him. Even though he doesn't have the best articulation in the set compared to the Chad Gable, I did give the nod to Gable. I think that he still feels so good in the hand, you have to give an honorable mention over there to the big man. So I did do that for Paul Bearer. Now for the worst articulation in the set, I went with the Usos, man, and that may shock a lot of people, but it came down to the Usos. I mean, they're they're, virtu they're virtually the exact same figure. It came down to the Usos and the Roxanne Perez figure, and I think at the end of the day, like, I would rather pose around the Roxanne Perez, which is why I said the worst articulation is the Usos. I just hate how stiff these legs are, com and you combine that with the Cena shoes, man. I mean, that just, that just takes the cake for me. And the Daniel Bryan torso allows for a fine ab crunch. It has nothing to do with, like, docking it, and the do the arms are fine. It's more of these legs, these jogger legs that are stiff and pinless combined with the Ultimate Edition Cena shoes. That uh, That's going to take the cake, man. That's going to give me the worst articulation for me personally. Now, I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about that. You can let me know, but for me personally, worst articulation in the set. I mean, that was that was pretty easy to come by for me. I didn't really... It wasn't much of a debate for me. I I, I just... I don't like the combination of those part choices. So that for me, that was pretty, pretty simple and self-explanatory for me when getting into the worst articulation that we saw from WWE Elite Series 106. Now we're getting into the best accessory from this set. And for me personally, I went with the Women's NXT Championship. Now we saw a lot of great cloth goods in here. I, I really like Paul Bear's urns, but I think that the Women's NXT Championship, first time in the line championship, getting these colors in here and the way the title looks aesthetically, this was pretty, pretty self-explanatory, I would say. I always enjoy championships, and I think it's a good-looking championship. So I went with first time in the line championship for the best accessory. Now, there's some great cloth goods in here, like I said. I do like the urns with Paul Bearer, but I went with the NXT Women's Championship. I, I like this accessory a lot. All right, Brad. It is time. It is time to rank WWE Elite Series 106 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. Now, you guys always got to go over the criteria for the ranking before we dive into it. First of all, just because a figure comes in at the bottom of the ranking at dead last doesn't mean it doesn't have any good things about the figure whatsoever, and I should just throw that thing in the trash. And just because a figure comes in at number one doesn't mean that it's without any faults whatsoever, and I like it so much, and it's just the best figure of the year, and etc., etc. So just take those things into account when listening to the criteria. Listening to the ranking, definitely take all these things into into account, man, but we're starting out at the bottom of my ranking, and at the bottom of my ranking, I went with the Roxanne Perez figure. Now, again, not only, now I didn't cover all the criteria, I just kind of explained the countdown here from six to one, but things that go into the criteria for the ranking and what kind of subjects everything is like some different things that go into a pot, and then at the end of the day, I put all those different criteria together, and I come up with a countdown that best suits my thoughts and opinions, so that's kind of where that runs, but excitement level for the figure, likeness to the character on television, posability, accessories, feel in hand, all these things come into account, but Roxanne Perez comes in at the bottom. It, for me, mainly, it was really just excitement level for the figure compared to the rest of the set. I would rather have every other figure in the set over this one, and it's nothing against Roxanne Perez, but also, I don't think the head sculpt's the best of all time either, even though I do like a lot of things about the figure. I think that the likeness is kind of the thing that docks this figure the most. Coming in at number five, we are going with the Sami Zayn figure, and this may shock some people. I really like this Sami Zayn. I think it's better than his Elite 91, even though that Elite 91 was damn good. I like this figure a little bit better. I think the head sculpt's stronger. I like the Sami, Sami Zayn shirt. I like the gear and everything like that, but I just, I'm not a big fan of the cargo pants Sami Zayn attires, and it's still a great figure. I love the head sculpt, things of that nature, but I think I'd rather have the rest of the figures in the set over this specific Sami Zayn. Coming in at the number four spot, I am going with the Jimmy Uso figure. The Jimmy Uso figure coming in at the number four spot. I mean, it was kind of just a toss-up because number four and number three 
three are going to be Jimmy and Jay, and I like the Jay figure just a little bit better. I like the I like that he has the sleeve, and I know that's really just dependent on what he wore that actual night because Jimmy didn't wear a sleeve and Jay did, so that kind of helps him right here in the ranking. But they, I mean, they have identical gear, they have identical shirts, the head sculpts. I mean, I don't know, Jay's head sculpts probably a little bit better, even though they kind of overdid it with the salt and pepper on the beard. I think it's a, a too a, a little bit too much white and gray in the beard compared to the Ultimate Edition. But I like the fade and the haircut. I just overall, I think the Jay head sculpt's a little bit better than the Jimmy. And I like the Jay figure a little bit better than the Jimmy if I had to rank those. So I did go with Jimmy. I did go with Jay over Jimmy. So there is that. Now we're down to number two and number one in my set. And for number two, I went with Paul Bearer. Really love this Paul Bearer, man. I cannot overstate how like poseable this guy is and how fun he feels in hand and just the representation of Paul Bearer. Just really like that figure, man. Just a great figure overall. Anybody that owns that figure, you're really going to enjoy it. Like, just even if you just like action figures, man, posing that guy around, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. But at the top of the lineup, man, I went with Chad Gable. I love the posability, love the head sculpt, love the gear, love the shoe shirt. I think it looks pretty much identical to the character. I don't want to strangle myself when posing his figure around. And I think at the end of the day, I'd rather have the Chad Gable over the rest of the set, which is kind of a crazy thing to say. But I think it's the best overall figure in the set, compare, like comparing everything, even though I think the Paul Bearer is damn good. Now, if you put Paul Bearer at number one, wouldn't doubt you for uh, for a bit. It's a great figure. I think that this is my ranking. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this ranking at the end of the day. And those are my damn thoughts on WWE Elite Series 106, man. But I would love to know down in the comment section below what your thoughts and opinions are on this set. Where do you think it went wrong? Where do you like it? Where do you hate it? What would you rank this set if you had to rank them? I would greatly appreciate all those things down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas for everything you guys do for me. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support and for checking out the video today, man. But that is going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later. We have some good stuff coming this weekend. <laughs>